money is really made up. It is only because of the illusion of confidence and the ignorance of the masses that this house of cards stands. He talked. Winning means being unafraid to lose. I think Eleanor Roosevelt said it best, do what you feel in your heart to be right for you'll be criticized anyway. You'll be damned if you do, and damned if you don't. An intelligent adult often feels it is demeaning to pay attention to simplistic definitions. Trading for a living I've been a little cruel today, said Rich Dad. But I want you to always remember this talk. I want you to always think of Mrs. Martin. And I want you always to remember that donkey. Never forget that fear and desire can lead you into life's biggest trap if you are not aware of them controlling your thinking. To spend your life living in fear, never exploring your dreams, is cruel. To work hard for money, thinking that it will buy you things that will make you happy is also cruel. To wake up in the middle of the night terrified about paying bills is a horrible way to live. To live a life dictated by the size of a paycheck is not really living a life. Thinking that a job makes you secure is lying to yourself. That's cruel, and that's the trap I want you to avoid. I've seen how money runs people's lives. Don't let that happen to you. Please don't let money run your life. The American public struggles financially is because they play not to lose. They don't play to win. It is hard to find mentors who are B's and I's. Most people giving advice about those quadrants and about money are people who actually come from the E and S quadrants. Because it is ignorance about money that causes so much greed and fear, said Rich Dad. Let me give you some examples. A doctor, wanting more money to better provide for his family, raises his fees. By raising his fees, it makes health care more expensive for everyone. It hurts the poor people the most, so they have worse health than those with money. Because the doctors raise their fees, the attorneys raise their fees. Because the attorney's fees have gone up, school teachers want a raise, which raises our taxes, and on and on and on. Soon there will be such a horrifying gap between the rich and the poor that chaos will break out and another great civilization will collapse. History proves that great civilizations collapse when the gap between the haves and have-nots is too great. Sadly, America is on that same course because we haven't learned from history. We only memorize historical dates and names, not the lesson.